So what is it that drives our life? What is it that drives our identity? That's the question at which we're going to look. What kind of a being is a human being? See, most of us don't give much thought to it because we think it comes with the territory. We think, yeah, I'm a human being and I'm using being to get along in life. I mean, I'm a human being and I use all those faculties that human beings have to accomplish the things I accomplish in life, to conduct my relationships, to do my job, to pursue the concerns I have in life. Well, there's some bad news about that. You see, human being was here before you ever showed up. Human being was here before you were ever thought of. Maybe, just maybe, human being, because it was already here and already had a direction, already has a thrust, already has a scope of possibility, just maybe human being is using you. See, I know that you and I live that we're using being. But I'm asking you to consider the possibility that you showed up in human being and it uses you in its direction and its thrust. You don't use it. It already was when you showed up and it already had a thrust, a scope, a definition. It already was a certain set of options and those options are using you you see you say we say in everyday language I think I say you don't think and I want you to consider the possibility that you don't think I want you to stand in that possibility you understand what I'm saying I'm not asking you to agree or disagree I don't want to know what you think about whether you think or not I'm inviting you to stand in the possibility that it isn't you thinking. That certainly there are thoughts. That's obvious. There are thoughts. Anybody who's alive and is human knows that there is th thinking, that there are thoughts. I'm not asking you to consider the possibility that there aren't thoughts. I'm asking you to consider the possibility that it isn't you thinking. I'm asking you to stand in the possibility that it thinks and you have the thoughts. Now, if it's you thinking, if you're really committed to that it's you thinking, then you stop thinking. You notice you can't do that. That's because that isn't you thinking. It thinks and you have the thoughts it thinks and you live the superstition that you think but you don't think it thinks and one of the things that it thought up is you <laughs> you notice it thinks a lot about you you are one of its favorite things about which to think. 